All right, welcome back. Welcome back to the Cactus Quest channel. I am your host, Hunter, and in today's episode, it's just gonna be quick. I'm repotting these seedlings. This is the pot I took them out of. I'm, I'm wearing a mask, so I'll pardon the, uh, the sound of my voice, but you can kind of see here, this is how full the pot was when I decided that it was time to repot, and frankly, I probably could have gone sooner. This is a Hamato cactus. Um, species the seed was sent to me by uh, Joey from crime pays and uh, I sowed these in August so you can kind of see it's now April of the following year uh, and that's that's what they're looking like so we're gonna go ahead and uh, break up this seedling pot here and just so you can kind of see this is what it looks like I mean, they are tightly bunched together in there so I'm gonna be as gentle as I can I'm gonna damage some roots it's just how it's gonna go now, if you notice, you got plants at all different sizes. So this is the same age, or at least was sown at the same time as everything else in this pot. But then you look here and you've got like literally seedlings that just germinated. So these obviously are much younger. For all I know though, they could have been uh, around the same age, but because of the fact that they were at the bottom of the other plants, that they were competing for nutrients and complete, competing for light, they may just have not got what they needed. So uh, now I'm gonna start putting these into their own individual pots. So I got my soil here. My soil mix is a, uh, it's a mix of Unigo cactus mix. I put about half of that in. So uh, one part Unigro cactus mix, equal parts pumice, and then I add in another part of uh, lava just to give it some extra grit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these into three and a quarter inch pots here. And uh, shallow roots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the pot pretty substantial amount of the way. And then I'll start kind of dumping in. There we go. So you can see what I did here is I put a few in each pot. Um, I'll let them stay together, less damage to that particular bunch's roots. And uh, you know, they can grow in there for a little bit longer. This guy is gonna get his own pot because he was a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna let him fill this one in. He's the biggest one out of the batch. So we're gonna let him go for it. We are right in the very beginning of the growing season this year, and I suspect these will certainly grow quite a bit this year. I don't know the specific uh, species of Hamato cactus. Um, I do know that it was the seed was collected somewhere in Texas. So uh, it looks, uh, it you know, they 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 remind me a lot of our uh, sclero cactus here, or like some of the glandula cactus. They have that same kind of look morphological look to them and again I'm gonna take another bunch here and I'm just gonna let them stay together for a little bit longer they're smaller plants and if I can avoid busting up those roots a little bit then why not and you notice I'm not packing the soil down too too much and that's because you know they need to have some room for the uh, roots to breathe they like air the roots need oxygen just as much as they need water. Um, so that's why I'm not trying to really stuff it in there. I give it a light pack just so it stays put and then tamp it down like that. And I'll end up throwing some top dressing on here, some DG, decomposed granite or something like that just to hold it down so the pumice doesn't rise up and it, when I'm watering and it looks a little bit nicer. So you can see here, I've got them all repotted and you know, this one got its own pot. Most of them, there's a few in each pot. And I just, like I said, I did that basically because they're still pretty small. They needed to come out of that larger pot. They were just way too crowded in there. Um, but to minimize the damage to the roots, I've left some of them in clumps where there were smaller plants. One other thing that I didn't mention that is very important, and this applies to all plants when you're repotting them, you want to make sure that the roots are aimed down. You don't want to repot them where the roots are like this or the roots are going up because 
the auxins, which are a hormone that causes the plants to grow and sends the signals of what it's supposed to do, those travel up and down. They're, they don't travel, they need gravity. So um, basically just always make sure that your uh, roots are aimed down when you're repotting your plants. And I'll, I'll do another video to show you how these are coming along after they've gotten a few waterings. All right, thank you. And if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Do me a favor, hit that like button. I know it's that uh, classic YouTube drone, smash that like button, all that shit. But really, you got to do it. And if you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, make sure you hit that notification bell in one of the corners. And yeah, all right, see you.